The funny thing is that most people are familiar with Newton, Einstein, but if you ask them about Bhaskaracharya today, they know nothing about him. Does anyone know which university he taught in? Bhaskaracharya? So he was from Ujjaini University. Ujjaini University was a place you went to study if you had an aptitude for maths. If, so whoever graduated from Ujjaini, they would, they would say, oh, he's a math genius. He's, he's, he has to be super intelligent. So he formulated so many interesting uh, form, uh, rules for you know, solving equations. Uh, he was the first one to use a decimal system. Uh, you know, and, and before him, it's not just him. If you go back, there's a lineage, Brahma Gupta. Uh, was before him and he was the first to use zero as a number in its own right. So what to do, how, what happens when you add zero to a number, what happens when you subtract zero from a number. He made all those rules and he followed, uh, Bhaskaracharya followed in his footsteps and went beyond. He discovered differential calculus. So he has been, he's been called one of the most brilliant brains ever uh, in the world. Uh, this is uh, quite recognizable, I'm sure, Nalanda. Now, when you see Nalanda today, it's all crumbling ruins. I also visited this place. And then the, the only way we get to know what it looked like is uh, when you read the autobiography of Yuan Sang and uh, I Jing. So what Yuan Sang said is that it was the most beautiful campus he had ever seen. It had a huge uh, gate all around uh, the campus. And when you entered, he said the, the place was full of uh, lakes, ponds, ponds with lotuses blooming in them. And there were, these were tall buildings. So they were, for example, the library was nine storied. And he said that if you went to the main building, the top story, when you looked out, you would see splendid sunsets, you would see brilliant moonlit nights. And he said that you, you, know, you can see the pride he feels uh, on studying in this uh, place. And then he said that at the entrance, there was a big statue of Buddha. And there were eight halls in the campus, uh, in the building. And uh, the lecture, there would be 100 lectures in a day and the lecture halls would be full and students would not miss a single lecture. That was the kind of learning. And Nalanda in uh, those days offered a wide range of subjects. So it had something for everybody. So uh, a lot of students, there were about uh, 8,500 to 10,000 students and there were 1,500 teachers. So you can imagine the student teach uh, teacher ratio is so good. And not to forget the admission test, which was so hard that only 20% students would make it, 80% would be eliminated.